everyone. Welcome to your reading for February 14th, 2022. Oh, all right. Please show me what everyone needs to know here or see. Thank you. I hope you all had a beautiful weekend. All right, let's jump right in. Oh, and I wanted to light this after I shuffled. There we go. All right, message from spirit. Wow. Okay. That is a very beautiful beginning. Ten of Pentacles in the upright. I feel like this is... Wow, this is so many things. This is maintaining a tradition. This is longevity. This is abundance. This is family. This is a lot of people together. This is also... Um, this guy is passing down... He's like a, like an elder, and that dog represents loyalty, and there's a baby in his lap, and he's he's putting like um. It's not fire. It's almost like a sparkler, in front of the baby's face. Can you see that? He's passing down a tradition. He's passing down um, ancestral knowledge. It also looks magical and it looks innocent and there's a couple and they're watching the elder pass something down to their their child to their baby um, I also feel like it's protection it's ancestral protection with that dog that golden retriever there beautiful so and it could be a financial windfall you could be getting um, paid for something you could be getting some kind of large check or you could be getting um, some kind of large commitment a new job justice in the upright is in the inspiration oh and there was a shuffle song as well and I can't remember what it's called but um, it was I think it was probably sung in Estonian probably um, I haven't actually checked, but um, I did read the translated lyrics in, in the comments, and it meant spellbound, and it meant I'm spellbound by the magician, no, not the magician, by the wizard. I'm spellbound by the wizard, and, and it was all about being infused with spirit, ancestral spirit. So this is beautiful. Um, justice in inspiration. Okay, so that's peace. That's making very very good decisions going forward this is something your decisions are paying off here or there's there's a lot of people that are in line with this judge or with this decision maker this could be somebody making a decision about money or about a lot of people and there was something else I was going to say this is also bringing peace and balance you could be dealing with a Libra or an earth sign all right, strength, fears, and feelings. The nine of pentacles in the reverse. So that's a needy or a shady um, or an unsuccessful energy in that card. And it's right below the justice card. So it's almost like she's... She's doing something from... A very strong place she's standing for justice she's standing for tradition she's standing for family but it looks like there's not a lot of support there or there's fear it feels like this is backbone it feels like it's true bravery when you feel needy in your heart and you're infused with this ancestral spirit. You demand justice. And you could be feeling this as well. It could be hunger. It could be not having enough money. Um, someone is demanding their rightful inheritance as well. And someone really needs it. Someone has been put into a needy situation or needy position. Um, maybe facing a judge or a higher authority. 
You could be worried about something and this is a reassurance as well that justice is coming. In intuition, you have King of Swords in the reverse. So that could be a lie, that could be a corrupt official, corrupt politician, corrupt lawyer. Um, in the upright, this is someone who, they follow the rule of law, they, they um, like without corruption, they fight for rights. In the reverse, it's, it's the opposite and it's also um, interference. There's interference here, and it could be something, um, this kind of feels like that's what's been happening, is interference and denial of money or rights or somehow making you um, feel needy, needy here. Somebody, somebody wants you to beg as well. Somebody is not helping you at all. They're actually hindering you, but there is this strong message here that you need to well this is also peaceful um you know that you're right about something and someone is trying 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 to stop you or they were because there is justice coming or this is your intention and this has something to do with family or a lot of money but you want justice you have the King of Pentacles in the outcome, or yeah, enclosure. Wow. So that's pretty. Um, that's pretty nice, right there. This could be dealing with an Earth sign again, or um, an institution. This could be the head of a bank, the head of a corporation, the head of a government, something like that, and it could. There's some kind of interference here. Or this king of coins is getting very, very bad advice. But there's a lot of money or stability or abundance at stake here. It's almost like that judge and that corporate leader or political leader they have this in between them and they're in the upright, but they have these needy people below them and these people making trouble. It could be on their side or it could be on another side, but there's misinformation here and even keeping information from people. There's a, there's a barrier here to get into this money or this bank or this building or this corporation or this courthouse even or you're scared you can't get in you scared you're scared that you you won't be heard that it's it's like they have like um a grip and they won't listen In the near future, you have the Knight of Coins in the reverse. That's lack of understanding. That's stopping something. It's also no opportunities, a lack of money. There's Both of these are lack of money and not having any options. And it does kind of feel like it's coming from this... I don't know if it's coming from this king. Like he's holding on to all of these assets and making it difficult and making someone very needy and depriving someone of money and or information as well. And this is also someone who knows they're right about something, someone coming from this end, and they're demanding justice. They're demanding a return of something that's owed to them. At the base of this, you have the Eight of Cups in the reverse. That's, you can't leave. Um, that's also someone returning to a home. This could be someone that left and is now returning. This can be a house. Returning to tradition. Someone could also not be listening to, this could be laws, something like that. I'm really feeling like, um, well, Monopoly just popped into my head 
and holding all the money, not giving any issue or any options, um, stopping someone or people. It just seems like everyone's approaching this justice. They want justice and they're not being heard. And it also feels like people, because they're stuck in this vulnerable position or this oppressed position or ignored position, they're returning back to something. They're returning back to their roots. They're returning back to, um, I know I feel that, it's, um, it's really woken me up on, a, on an ancestral level. This really does feel like little people, um, peasants, who are demanding justice, demanding stability, demanding to be treated as they are valued. It also feels like these people value money over people's hard work. Um, it also feels like someone is going back to their roots maybe people were the original because I, I just felt like going back to their roots and I just saw that king there um, like there could be ancestors that you had that were true royalty and everything's been flipped or something. And and now you've been placed in this not great situation where you're ignored by this corporation or government and it's caused you to go back to your roots, which is worth more than money, which is the highest form of currency. Behind you, you have the Queen of Coins in the reverse, right beside the King of Coins in the upright. So this could be a gold digger, that King of Coins could be a gold digger. Um, there could be someone, this could be you, in the recent past who was deprived of your rightful place, your rightful inheritance, whatever that means. Um, even not told your true history and you're going back and you're learning your history I have a feeling it might come down to um, to simplify it a lot blue blood or red blood the outcome is the magician in the reverse above the ten of coins in the upright so that's manipulation manipulation of money manipulation of memories manipulation of history manipulation of family traditions it almost feels like it's like a guarded secret in between these people that have all this power they're manipulating it could just be money, like holding, withholding your money. But there is a feeling of returning to it. And this also, this, this is abundance. This is something that multiplies. So I, I feel like it's growing too big. I also feel like this is people, like these people, they're, they're an asset to these elements and they're trying to manipulate them but these people it's growing these these numbers are growing um, this is also an ending and this is because people were oppressed to the point where they looked back to the beginning when they were dethroned or when they were denied their autonomy. This is also suspicion. So I feel like you were always suspicious about things that you were told by the big man or by your father or by some 
um, male, masculine figure that handled the money, that handled the, um, the abundance. This is being lied to about where you came from and you're finding your way back. Wow. This is also stopping something. So it could be stopping these people. Um, this could be the peaceful protest. This could be people stopping this stronghold, this stranglehold that they have on people and on assets and money because of their manipulation. This is also something um, backfiring on, if somebody's sending dark magic, it, it backfires on them. So that's happening as well. Okay, yeah, you have, you have divine help here with the three of coins. This is people coming together. This is illumination. This is people growing, enlightening, lifting up from this this lying down kind of place this needy place this feeling like you can't do anything um it also feels like a lot of people enough people gather in the streets to stop this force that looks benevolent right here until you add that magician in the reverse on top so yeah so your advice is to gather together to educate each other to reverse these lies about your origin there's definitely something here about your origin it's like this colonizer just popped in my head here um, this colonizer lied about everything lied about God lied about what they were building and you're returning to God here you're returning to your origin um, you could be breaking some kind of spell as well Definitely. Something about 13 as well. 13 coins against that dark magician. All right, bottom of the deck. What you don't see coming is the wheel of the year in the reverse. So that's something happening repeatedly. It could be um, bad luck. It's stopping bad luck. It's stopping this repetitive cycle. And it feels like refusal. I, I keep seeing people lying down here, lying down to stop something from happening again, from repeating, to stop some kind of bad luck, bad cycle, repetitive um, rituals, repetitive magic, something like that. All right, message from spirit, the nine of wands in the reverse. Okay, so that's a broken bridge that is embarrass embarrassment, <laughs> embarrassment, um, that's humiliation, that is, oh, it's also something stopping, but it's also fighting back. It's, I feel like it could be this king of coins fighting dirty because he is humiliated. He has broken something in between himself and this home. There, it's like there's no going back. Um, I feel like he's poisoned something. He's poisoned something. This could also be an accident, um, like a, a stumble. It could have something to do with... Um, with going, something to do with stairs, something to do with, like this king of coins might trip and embarrass himself somehow. And it's right below this magician in the reverse, so it kind of feels like karma, something like that. Um, but there's also, there's something that's stopping him from getting this this generational wealth and or he did burn a lot of bridges to get it but there is definitely opposition here and there's something stopping and something not happening again and something that's happened many many times 
So, okay, so on justice in the upright, you have strength in the reverse. So I feel like that is um, possibly a corrupt justice system because strength in the reverse is when you you don't, this is, this is very moral, this is resisting temptation. Somebody succumbed, somebody gave in, somebody did not resist temptation. Somebody was weak, somebody in the justice system, or this is the justice system. It's been compromised, it's been um, corrupted with lies, with manipulation. Um, this also feels like um, this king of coins is trying to block information. This is also a lot of information. Like, this is the information that this justice system, they know or they don't know. He's trying to stop this information from, yeah, he's manipulating inf true information, illuminating information. He's trying to stop it manipulate it but it feels like these people know as well this justice department or whatever this represents people that make big decisions about the little people there's corrupt officials corrupt people in suits corrupt um under this king of coins um corrupt professionals they could be in this justice department and they all took bribes they all got rich. The little people did not. I don't know why I keep pointing to this as the little people. These are the little people. And they're stopping this from happening. They're stopping this get rich quick scheme. Well, it's probably been happening for a long time. Yeah, you have judgment in the upright on the nine of pentacles. These are the people. They know the truth. They're enlightened. They want peace. They want justice. They want a new decision. And I feel like they're lying down until they get it. This is also more and more people coming into the cause, returning to their roots, figuring out who they are. They're not a pawn. They're actually, what's the word? Um, they have a spiritual and hereditary connection to something that these people stamped out many 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 moons ago all right on the king of swords in the reverse you have the seven of wands in the upright this is protection this is divine protection so th this is also a discussion a very good discussion um with or between these corrupt officials corrupt professionals people that were lied to by this king Maybe they are innocent. Maybe they didn't know. Maybe they believed his bullshit. So maybe they're protected somehow. And there's some kind of discussion between them and these dethroned people. These people that were um, stolen from. Stolen their history. Stolen their money. Stolen their family traditions and or their families. This could also be like... Um, like I keep, I keep seeing, literally seeing burning bridges. Like this is how this element or this person, how they got this ancestral abundance. So what's on the king of coins? Seven of coins in the upright. It's all about the money. This is about investing. This guy is heavily invested That's a long time. That's a lot of time. That's waiting. That's patient. Um, I also feel like this guy is waiting for a riot here with this nine of wands. He's manipulating. He's manipulating things. These guys are turning a blind eye at something. It's like they're turning a blind eye at these people lying down waiting for justice. But... These people seem to be coming around because they're figuring out the lies that this king of coins has been telling them. Um, I just heard news as well. So these are professional people that have been, that have turned upside down 
and also they could be in this organization as well because these people definitely took a bribe or believed some kind of bullshit. Um, but they're coming around. They want to talk to these deposed people. These people that used to be royalty and have been turned into serfs. Begging. I feel like this was the plan all along, but it's it's backfiring. All right, where are we? Um, okay, so there's the Knight of Coins in the upright. That is a worker. That's somebody who's useful. That's someone who has a job. And he's giving his money to this King of Coins investment fund. He's breaking his back. And it, it's, it's like he understands, and this is understanding, this is having knowledge, this is being useful, it's giving, it's a worker. Behind him, he has the magician in the reverse. These are people that, the nine of wands below them, they, it's like they have no idea. These are people that have no idea. Um, people that have been, um, how do I put it? It's like they've been taught a false tradition that hurts them, that helps this corporation, government, some large, too large thing with tentacles. Um, they're, they're misinformed. They don't understand what they're giving to. They're, they're not giving to themselves. They're giving themselves. They're giving themselves to this guy with their energy and with their work. It's part of that programming that you're, you're useless if you're not a good worker. Because if you're not a good worker, you're not contributing to this guy's trust fund. All right. Chaos in the upright. Beautiful. Okay, so chaos in the upright, that is God. That is, um, it's hope for the future. It's um, people striking, lying down, um, refusing to budge until they get this justice that they've been deprived of by this so-called justice system. They're very, very hopeful. This is also something about um, a man that card in the upright is a man going from lying down to standing up and facing this justice system, this corrupt or corrupted justice system. All right, let's keep going. You have the queen of swords in the upright beside the eight of cups in the reverse. So... Queen of Swords in the Upright, she's been burned. She's very wise. She cuts people out of her life. Um, but she also speaks very clearly, and she's right beside this discussion card with these corrupt officials, corrupt um, people of authority even, people that, that have the ability to make decisions on behalf of this King of Coins. It feels like they're not any longer. They're, they're either listening or they're talking, they're discussing, with these deposed, this deposed royalty from the past, I feel like way, 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 way back in the past. Um, this is learning the truth about your roots, going back to the beginning, going back to your divine origins, your family traditions. This is speaking. This, these people are hearing something. They're hearing something and they're they're listening. They're starting to understand. This is men starting to understand, starting to wake up and figure out how they've been played. They could be refusing to work. They could they could be soldiers. They could be anything. But there's somebody saying, "No, we're not. We're not following your orders. We're not following your orders." And this could be what this is as well. This could be someone who was formerly priding themselves on their job. And realizing they were basically just being a really, really good slave. And they could also be telling this person. This could be the message that we're not 
putting up with your manipulation and your bullshit and your lies anymore and giving this person um, that information. Like, we're aware of what you're doing now. Now I understand what you've been doing all along, how you've been, I don't know, laundering the money or um, giving grants to family members. Oh, it, the list is so long of what they're doing. It's, it's just, it's depressing. Um, where are we? Okay. And then you have the eight of wands in the upper, upright on the queen of coins in the reverse. Okay, so that deposed queen or that um, person who had everything taken from her, she's communicating. She's alive and well, or she's speaking through someone who is alive and well and communicating the truth about something the truth about these investments, the truth about this, something that's been going on for a very, very long time, this is very slow and methodical on that King of Coins part. And it's also all for the money. There could be a discussion with him from somebody who lost everything, somebody he fired, someone he turfed. Um, they could be talking to these people that don't understand, um, professionals that think they know but they don't, they're starting to figure it out. There's discussion happening all over here. Somebody very smart. You've got to, the women, the women are speaking up to the men here. The men under this, you've got to, Queen of Coins and a King of Coins, and you've got a Queen of Swords and a King of Swords. So it's almost like these corrupt white collar people, they could have women in their lives or their wives are saying, hey, I come, I come from this, and you're going against what I or what we come from. And same with this one. There's a lot of communication about ancestry and about true history. People are figuring out their true history and figuring out it doesn't align with going with this money-grabbing, almost like a money-grabbing celebration at one point. Your advice, you have the Five of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, that's called parents. This is grief from a long time ago. Someone's getting downloads here. This is getting illuminated about, it's all about family and it's all about um, history and it's all about correcting lies and stopping something from happening again. The men, I feel like the women are waking up and the women are waking up the men or maybe everyone's just waking up, I don't know, but I'm really seeing men here, men, Hope for the men. Men are hoping or men are trying to get off their knees here. Because they're on they were on their knees. And women on their knees, hoping for justice, hoping for divine justice, praying to their God, their gods. I think if you go back far enough, we're all indigenous and we're, we're, we were all worshipping the same thing. But what I was going to say was there are women here and there are men there and they're lying down. They were lying down trying to stop it, hoping it would stop, but it won't stop until you get up because this system is corrupt. All right, bottom of the deck, two of cups in the reverse. So broken promise, disagreement. Um, I really feel like this is the little people who do not agree with this cyclic abuse, with this cyclic overreach, with this cyclic causing tension, trying to, and also using people as slaves. There's a promise that's going to be broken. I feel like that masculine is breaking it. There's a masculine 
getting up off his knees and he's breaking his allegiance to something that's corrupt because he doesn't agree with it and he doesn't want something, he doesn't want history to repeat. This is someone very divinely guided and like I said, remembering their ancestral history. They're also remembering, this could be stories told by elders, like I was picking up over here, like people that are no longer here, like grandmothers, stuff like that, remembering stories and starting to really understand what they meant. Was your family um, red-blooded or were they blue-blooded? Because I feel like this guy and this, and these could be mixed, but these feel like red, or sorry, they feel like blue, blue blood, and these people feel like red blood. And this guy feels like, these are, these are professionals that thought they were doing the right thing. Like red blooded people that were trying to get a piece of this. They didn't realize how evil it actually was. Um, and they were misinformed, but they're starting to figure it out. They're starting to talk about it and they're starting to listen and they're starting to communicate. Um, shit's getting around. People are starting to figure out who they really are and that way, 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 way back when, some longer than others, history was um, changed, broken, um, everything got our, our literal understanding of ourselves and how society works got manipulated here. All for this system, this corrupt system's benefit and for their profit. But that's about to change because there's, there's a masculine element here and here that are waking up. All right, I'm going to stop there. Love you guys. Bye.